Hello guys and welcome to another video tutorial series on searching algorithms. And today we're gonna discuss on another important question that you should prepare before going to any technical interview and that is separating even and odd numbers in an array. So before jumping into the solution to this problem, first let's understand the problem. So what it tells is like we are given with an array of numbers like 12, 34, 45, 9 and so on and we have to write a logic which will segregate the even numbers and the odd numbers within the array which means the output of this program should look something like this. So here you can see all the even numbers are on the one side of the array and all the odd numbers on another side of the array. So this is basically our problem statement. We have to segregate the even and the odd number within the array and in a single iteration. So let's jump into the solution of this program. So let's start solving this program. So here the problem statement tells that that we are given with an array of numbers with some mixture of odd and even numbers. And at the end of the program, we need to segregate the even numbers on one side and the odd number on the another side. And to solve this program, I will be giving over here the most optimized solution to solve this problem. So before jumping into the most optimized solution, let's first analyze the problem and let's understand the solution using our whiteboard session. So the approach by which we will be solving this problem is quite easy. But we have to keep in mind that we have to give the most optimized solution to this problem. Because you can solve this problem using many ways. For example, you can use an auxiliary space to segregate all the even numbers and odd numbers. For example, you are running a loop from i equal to 0 to the end of the list. And while traversing, you are just seeing that whether the number is divisible by 2 or not. Thus, we are detecting that whether the number is even or odd. And based on that, we are segregating this two array into one into one into the even array and other into an odd array. And at the end, we will merge the two array to get our desired output. But that will not be an optimized solution. So our main focus is to produce an optimized solution. So for that, to make the solution optimized, let's see how we will solve the problem. So to solve the problem in the most optimized way, we will be actually using two pointers. One, starting from the 0th index, let's consider this as left pointer, and one from the right hand side, that is the last element of the array. Now what we'll do, we will write a while loop to iterate this two pointer, one on the forward direction and one in the backward direction till they meet with each other. And while traversing, the left and the right hand side what we will do we will take the element from the left hand side and we will check whether the element over here is even or not so if the element on the left hand side is even we will not do any operation we will just increase the pointer like left plus plus means we will increment the pointer to the next element that is 34 but if it is not even then what we'll do, we will stop the while loop over there at that point. So for example, on this scenario, we will check whether 34 is even or not. So 34 is even, so we will increment the left pointer. So it comes down to 45. Now we will again check that whether 45 is even or not. So in this case, 45 is not an even number. So we will stop the while loop over here and we will start the while loop from the right hand side and in the right hand side what we will do we will check that whether this number is odd or not that is the opposite of what here you can see in the problem statement it tells that we need to segregate the left hand side with the even number and the right hand side with the odd number and that's why we are checking that whether the right hand side is odd or not and whether the left hand side is even or not so in the interview if the interviewer changes this question like we have to sort the odd on the left hand side and even on the right hand side then check your conditions accordingly so let's go back to the solution 
So from the right hand side, we will check that whether the element on the right most, whether it is odd or not. So if it is an odd, then we will move the right hand pointer left side. That is, we will decrease the pointer. So it will move on this direction. Now the right hand pointer will be pointing to the element 90. Now again, we will check whether the element 90 is odd or even. So in this case, this is an even. So this condition doesn't satisfy. And hence, we will stop the while loop. So at the end of the two while loop, our left pointer is pointing to this element and the right pointer is pointing to this element. So these are the two positions where the condition doesn't satisfy. So what we need to do right now, we need to swap the two number. So after swapping, our new array will become So here you can see till this point there is no change and till here there is no change but we have swapped the number 45 over here and 90 over here. So now on the left side we have the even and the right side we have the odd and then after swapping we will increase the left pointer to the next place and the right pointer to the next place and again we will start the while loop over here by checking that whether the number over here is odd or even and we will keep on swiping the numbers if the condition doesn't satisfy and at the end we will get the result as desired so i think the basic idea of how to solve this problem is clear so let's write down the program to solve this problem so that it will be much more easy to understand So let's name the program as segregate numbers and we will pass the integer array over here. Now the first thing that we need to do over here to solve this problem in the most optimized way is we need to set two pointer, one the left pointer that's pointing to the first element over here and the right pointer that pointing to the last element of the array. So let's define the two pointer. So after initializing the two pointer, the left pointer and the right pointer, the next step what we have to do, we have to move the left pointer in the forward direction and the right pointer in the backward direction. So let's write the while loop. So here we will check that this left pointer should not cross and overlap the right pointers. So this iteration will occur till the two pointer doesn't meet with each other. So now what we'll do, we will move the left pointer in the forward direction. And while moving it forward, we will check that whether the element is even or not. So the first thing we will check that whether the left element is even or not. So if it is an even and the left pointer doesn't cross the right pointer, we will keep on moving the pointer forward. So what does this statement means is like, we are checking that whether the element on the left pointer over here is even or not. If this is even and the left pointer doesn't cross the right pointer, because we already have the even number on the left side, which is what we need in our final result. So we don't need to do anything extra. So we just need to keep the left pointer moving forward. So here we are just increasing the left pointer in the forward direction. And we have to keep on doing this process until we encounter an odd element over here. So if we run this while loop, our left pointer will move till number 45 because here our condition doesn't satisfy because it is not a even number. Now once we break this loop, we need to move the right pointer in the left direction means we will write another while loop we will here we will check that whether the element on the right side is odd or not so if it is odd and the left pointer doesn't cross the right pointer then we will decrement the right pointer and move it in this direction 
So as I explained already, so this right pointer will keep on checking that whether the element over here is odd or not. And if it is odd, it will keep on moving forward. And if it is not an odd number, it will break the while loop. So here in this case, it will break over here in the 90. So right now, our left pointer is pointing to element 45 and the right pointer is pointing the element 90. So the next step is like once we break this two while loop, we have to swap this two number over here. So what we will do, we will check that whether the left less than right or not. If it is a yes, we will swap the two number. And thus we are swapping the two number over here. And once we are done with the swapping, our new array will look like that the 45 will be moving over here and the 90 will be moving over here. So we are done with positioning this 45 and 90 in its correct position. Now we have to keep on doing the same process until the two pointer meets with each other. So after the swapping, we have to move the left pointer in the forward direction and right pointer in the backward direction. And at the end, we will close the while loop. So this is pretty much the solution to this program. I will give the entire code in the description below. So feel free to download the code and run it to understand how it is working. So I think the solution is pretty much simple and clear to you guys. If not, let me do a dry run of this solution one more time so that it will be more clear to you guys. So here what we are doing is like at the beginning of the program we are setting two pointer one left pointer that is pointing to the first element of the array and the second pointer known as the right pointer that is pointing last element of the array. Now what we have to do we have to iterate the array using the left and the right pointer. So we will move the left pointer in the forward direction and right pointer in the backward direction. And while moving left pointer in the forward direction, we will keep on checking that whether the element the left pointer is pointing to is even or not. So if it is an even number, we will keep on moving the left pointer forward. And if it is not an even number, then we will stop the iteration over there. Then we will start the iteration using right side pointer. From the right side, we will check that whether the element we are encountering is odd or not. So if it is an odd number, we will keep on moving the right side pointer in the backward direction. If it is not an odd number, we will break the while loop over there. Now our both the pointers are pointing to the elements that doesn't match the condition of even and odd. So we need to swipe the two elements over here. So after doing the swap operation, we have to again move the left pointer forward and right pointer backward. And we will keep on doing this until the left pointer meets the right pointer. And once the left pointer meets the right pointer, we can see that we have got our desired array. So hope the approach of solving this problem is clear to you guys. And I would say this is quite a common question if you are appearing for any product based company. So I would highly recommend you to deeply understand the solution of this problem so that if there is a small modification the interviewer is doing during the interview, you can solve the program accordingly. There are plenty more approaches by which you can also solve this program. Let me know in the comment section below. So let's meet to the next problem of our searching algorithms. So see you in my next video. Thank you.